Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Pack Attack. It's gonna be episode number two. I went ahead and did a couple of things. We went ahead and changed our jersey to the one that we pulled last episode, which was the Vancouver Giants one. And we're also gonna change a couple of rules here. So let's hop into the game and I will go over the rules that I would like to change. So, so the rules I'm gonna change, actually I'm gonna implement more of a rule. This Feschler guy, he's actually six foot five. You guys are telling me he's a monster and he actually is he played amazing for us in that first game it was ridiculous uh, but we are gonna have some goalie rewards as well you we have a bunch of player rewards but I'm saying miraculously if someone gets two shutouts in a, in a row I will go ahead and boost that goalie like crazy or if he's playing awesome like only allowing one goal in like three games you know if we if we, if we win 2-1 then 3-1 then like 8-1 or whatever if he only allows like one goal if he's playing awesome I'll give him some credit some boosting as well so Let's go ahead and hop into it here. Hopefully continue our one game winning streak. Hop into it with our new additions. Andrew Cogliano, we got Lucas Spizo, we got that Namath guy who actually forgot to put in the on the team last episode, but we get matched up right away. That's a good sign. What's this guy looking like? Uh, his logo and his name is uh, the Keelers. He's a Ottawa fan here. I did change the name to Pack Attack 2, which is nice. And uh, I don't even know who that guy is. So we're rocking with the Vancouver Giants jerseys, let's go. All right, the Kanta Keelers against Philadelphia Pack Attack. If we ever pull a arena, I will change our arena or our logo. Uh, but we're gonna roll with the Philly Flyers one right now. We are in Ottawa. Let's go. Got the boys, Mike and Eddie, talking about their resurgence of Pack Attack, the one game winning streak that we're on. Had a awesome first game. We're definitely gonna keep it up here. I don't think this guy has the greatest team either. A little bit of lag. I don't know what my connection is, is up to right now. He's got, yeah, this guy's got a bronze team as well, so this should be fun. Let's go. He's got Curtis Lazar, Hoffman, Cracknell, got a couple of the Ottawa boys. This should be. Oh, what a feed. Oh, Cogliano. Oh my god, the moves. How did I fuck that up? I feel like the biggest idiot in the world. How did I fuck that one up? All right, so I can tell right off the bat this guy is not the best player. Probably just got the game. Uh, so let's try to feast on him. All right, LaFontaine, let's go, buddy. You got guys open. Oh, man, good defensive play. That guy went flying. Oh, man, that guy took a spill, and we're going to the power play again. Oh, all about that base, all the penalties. What are you doing? Oh, man, there goes our five-second power play. Six to one of the shots. Definitely a decent start. There we go, Cox gets the goal, Cox gets the goal from Patrice Bergeron, no not Patrice, uh, he actually tripped me and I just outweighed him, this guy is really not the best player so I do kind of feel bad but I just, I just took, he got took down there and I found Cox right in the, <laughs> just sounds terrible to say his name a lot but Cox gets the goal, I'm going to say it a thousand times now, Cox scores on Williams and we're up one now. Alright so that period was basically just penalties and the one goal. This guy is not a very good player. I'm playing with bronze players. I know I should be killing them, but I'm not flash diving or nothing. I'm not the greatest player. Uh, we've definitely had some chances, though, like chances like that that could have possibly went in. The one goal, though, from Cox. I uh, was still getting a little bit of lag. I don't know if it's me or not, but uh, I've just been experiencing some lag the last 10 games here. But the shots are 10 to 1. Uh, time on attack is ridiculous. Uh, he's not a very good player. So let's just try to pad our stats here. I know we got a bronze team. Uh, not really too much to work with, but that's no excuse. I gotta stay out of the penalty box and we gotta put some numbers up. There we go, Jones. What a clapper. I feel like the goals are gonna start coming here. Jones with an absolute bomb makes it 2 nothing. Jonesy boy, that's his nickname. Blair Jonesy boy just waited, just outweighted him here and clap bomb top cheese where your mama keeps the peanut butter. There you go, top shelf, buddy. There you go, top shelf where your mama keeps the peanut butter. There you go. He wants to watch it. It was so nice. Jonesy boy, what a goal. <laughs> I 
having dangles for days, having goals for days. What a goal! I believe that was Mark Messier putting it through his legs. Here come the goals. Floodgates are open. We're not gonna make him watch that one. Mark Messier, baby. Two goals in two games. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so shots are 21 to five. This guy's really not a good player. I do feel bad stomping all over him. We should be up a lot more, but I've had quite a bit of penalties and the lag hasn't really been on my side. It's always fun to play games like this. We're up three nothing. Let's try to pad our stats a little bit here and let's get this third over with. Hey, Jonesy boy gets another one. This lag is so bad. I don't even know if it's me or if it's him. I played a couple games earlier and it was it was it was all right, but uh, I've been getting some lag recently. But for nothing, Jonesy boy gets his second goal of the game from all about that base, all assisting Cody Bass and Dylan Olson make it four to nothing. And his leg. I actually hope he scores. I hope this isn't his first ever hockey ultimate team game. Look at this leg. Oh my god. I don't know if this is his. F I mean, I really hope this is not his first game because it has been lag central with these guys. Um, hopefully, he didn't just you know buy this game today. Uh, but the lag has just been brutal. Because you know I'm all oh, about that, base, all about no that penalty base, shot, that base, baby. No I don't know what I'm I was trying to say there, base, but Cody base, no Bass, all Cody base, base, all about the penalty yeah. shot. Never mind, you got no hands, you suck. Chopped in the net, that's a good goal, ref, that's a good goal. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base. No hey, there you go, redeemed himself. No Cody Bass, all about that base, all goals, baby. Terrible lag, we're just getting the ugly goals. I'll take it, though. It's actually kind of weird. Nothing from Cogliano, nothing from uh, Lucas Pisa. It's basically just been all of our, uh, all of the bronze, all the bronze beauties. All right, we got 10 seconds to get Jonesy Boy the hat trick. Just kidding, we're giving away to Volpatti, and he's gonna do nothing with it, okay. Jones, six seconds, go buddy, go, get the hattie. Get the hattie, three, oh, oh, one, shoot! Oh man, tried for the hat trick. Thought I could sneak it in there, top cheese. But we do get our second victory in a row. There will be two games this, this episode. Uh, 12 for the fan appre appreciation, ooh. Rough crowd. 2-0 uh, in Div 10. We could have mucked it a lot more. 41 shots. The goalie played awesome. We peppered the net the whole game. He had two shots in the third period. Dylan Olsen, three helpers. There you go. Uh, Blair Jones, two assists. If you guys think I should boost Dylan Olsen for the next episode, let me know. Cody Bass. Bass, all about that treble. Uh, one goal, one assist. All right, 87.50 here after the big 5 nothing win. Hopefully that was not his first game. I feel terrible now, but here we go. Let's go here, 87.50. Big pull, Cal Clutterbuck. Not even that bad. We got a Jonesy boy. Uh, we pulled him again, so I'll go ahead and look for the first 76. We got two Jones. We got Ryan Jones and Blair Jones. We're going to put them on a line together. That'd be kind of cool. We also got Cal Clutterbuck and uh, Colin McDonald. So we got a bunch of players that are gonna play on the team for sure. A couple nice jerseys. We do have to buy the first 76 overall player we do find on the market because we did pull Blur Jones in our opening pack. And we're gonna use uh, the Minnesota Wild jersey because that's kind of nice. So I'll go ahead and do all that and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so since we pulled Blair Jones, I gotta go find the first 76 overall player on the market. Might be kind of hard to find because it's such a low overall, but once I find one, wherever it's gonna be, I kind of don't want to cut it out so you guys uh, think I got a different player. But 76, Aaron Volpatti, there we go. He's gonna be put on the team, 76 overall grinder, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what the team is about to all right, so here is the updated team here. We got Cogliano Jones and all about that base, Cody Bass. Uh, didn't touch the first line. We did get this Colin McDonald guy, gonna play alongside Mark Messier and Ryan Jones. Uh, once we get a better first liner, I'll put Jonesy Boy down here so he can play on the line with the other Jones. Uh, but that will be in a couple episodes. I, mean, I did move Jay Rosehill down. Uh, and actually have to move Clutterbuck and Volpatti 
up. I guess I'll put uh, Volpatti. And I moved Clutterbuck up to line number two. And line three is going to be McDonald, uh, LaFontaine, and Rose Hill. And then uh, Volpatti going to be on the fourth line. Defense did not get changed at all. But let's go here try to go for our third consecutive win, which is going to equal a 17K pack. Let's go. All right, so we're up against a guy with the name Poop Whistle. That's right, Poop Whistle 61. This should be good. All right, this guy has a pretty average team, I guess, Lapierre. Probably another starting team. We are getting some good players, though, so I'm excited to get this one underway. Let's go. It looks like he's a little bit better than our previous opponent, which is nice. Uh, but let's get this one underway. There we go. Oh, what a save. Messier got robbed there. Almost had his third goal in as many games. Hey, this guy's a lot better. Oh, holy shit, what a save. Our goalie is such a boss. Save our goalie is such a boss. Oh my god, he's so good. All right, so we get out of the first period all tied at zero. Been a pretty even game. Shots are probably more in favor of us. I had much more time on attack than him. Messier should have had one there, but got robbed. Speaking of getting robbed, what a save. Feschler, the puck stops here. He is such a beauty. He is so good. Uh, this goalie's been playing pretty good as well, so let's go into the, the stats here, see what they entail. Nine to four, time on attack. We're killing them. Definitely big in our favor here. Let's see what the second period has in store. Oh, a break! Jones! The other Jones! Oh, no hands. Lost the puck at the last second there. Thought I was going to tuck that one backhand on Ryan, for with Ryan Jones there. Good face-off win. Oh my god, bar down. I was not expecting that. Wow, that is the definition of bar down. Going bar south. McEwen is dreamy, said this guy uh, from Cox. What a goal. Oh my god. Boom, what a shot. Bar down. We're up 1-0 here going into the third period. I mean, we've been having chances like crazy, but his goalie, man, he's playing absolutely awesome. He hasn't gotten many shots, uh, like, at all. Uh, I feel like the shots are going to be really in our favor here. Our goalie's been playing great, though, as always. Uh, he's just a monster. But here is the bar down goal. Absolutely beautiful goaltender. No chance on that one. Oh, man, this goalie so good. See, look at this. Even when I screw up, he's amazing. He's putting on some pressure here. This is kind of scary. Oh, 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 that one like post and I don't even know how that one did not go in. Oh man, we got to get another one here because this is, this pressure is scaring me. Lapierre should have had one there. That went post and straight down. Oh, that was just unlucky. Post off his face. Went off the other guy's dome. Oh man, this guy's getting unlucky right now. All about that base, about that base, and the dangles. I'm all about that base, about that base, and keeping the puck, not giving it away. Still keeping the puck, cause I'm all about that possession, and the dangles, and the dangles, and the goal! Oh my god, how nice would that be if I would've called that? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, hit the post! Oh, we're getting so many opportunities here. I just still cannot believe that Andrew Cogliano or Lucas Pisa has done nothing in the two games that we've had him. It's kind of crazy. It's expecting kind of big things. Messier, he's been producing, almost produced another one there. Oh, man. The chances are there. It's just not happening for us. Oh, see, like that one. Our goalie, man. This guy, we always seem to find the sickest goaltenders in pack attack because we sh potentially, I mean, we shouldn't even have won that game. He had a much better third period than us. Uh, see how the fans appreciate it. There you go. Fans much appreciate this one. 3 0, and I mean, 20 to 25. He made 20 saves. He had a great game. Fischler, amazing once again. Both goalies played awesome. We got to open up a 17K pack. Let's Let's do that. And now we get to boost Dylan Olsen, if up to you guys, and Fischler, or whatever his name is. He's been amazing. Six foot five of pure beast. 
Here it is, pack purchase, 24 items, seven rare. This could be huge for pack attack. Let's go. What are we going to pull? Uh, Mark Shifley, Victor Stahlberg. That's awesome. Brendan McMillan, the newest Vancouver Canuck. Jordan Leopold. Okay, all these guys are going to play on our team, which is awesome. Uh, Alex Stalock, we got our backup goaltender. We got a captain card. Let me know who to put the captain on. Uh, this is awesome. We're also going to use this logo. I like that one a lot that's awesome okay so we got a new defenseman a new third liner we got two new defensemen actually and basically a whole line right there so that is awesome that is so sick let me put that on the collection we'll do a quick team update then i will call this one an episode all right, so here is your team update after episode number two. We got Cogliano, Mark Shifley, Victor Stahlberg, we got Clutterbuck, we got the Jonesy boys, we got Ryan Jones, Blair Jones, we got Mark Messier. I'm keeping him there because I absolutely love this guy. He has been producing and he is a monster. I also got McDonald and Rose Hill, and then all about that base and Volpatti and the defense. We basically have a full NHL core of defenseman other than R Roland M McEwen, which is not too bad, and obviously our amazing goaltender there, Feschler, dude, is a boss and a half. He's so good, you don't even realize. So let's go ahead and check out the quick stats here for uh, the three games that we have played. Uh, player stats, Jonesy Boy, let's take his lead in our team in goals. Um, let's go points here. Yeah, he's leading our team in goals and points with four points, three assists for uh, uh, Dylan Olsen, three points for all about that base. McEwen's got two. Messier's got two. Two huge goals, though. And Rose Hill has the one goal. And everyone else hasn't really been doing too much. Uh, but here's your goaltender. Three games played, three wins, zero goals against average, a 9-8 save percentage. This is in Div 10. If you're looking for an amazing goaltender, maybe juice him up, try him out. Feschler, he is a monster. Kind of sounds like Stifler, but a lot better. He's a monster. 6'5", 205. Pick this guy up. He's a goaltender on Drummondville uh, in the QMJHL. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in episode number three.